Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Now I must apologise guys, I've actually lost a bit of footage. The uh, the, tra the journey from Goldenrod City up to, um, well this place, the bug catching competition, I've actually lost it somewhere. Which is uh, kind of weird, don't you think? But I have, uh, si I've gone uh, east and I've saved just in front of this guy, the strange tree that would move when we touched it, which is weird. We're going to use the squirt bottle on it and hopefully we're going to catch, well, we are going to catch what it is because it's actually a Pokemon. It's a rock type Pokemon disguised as a tree. Strange. It's called Sudowoodo though. It's level 20 and it's kind of strong, but, you know... It's, it's nothing we can't handle. Same rules. Well, this is the only pseudo widow in the game, so make sure you catch it if you want it. Flail's in that. Flail's an interesting move. The lower your HP, the higher damage Flail does. Uh, it's a normal type attack as well. Ooh, confusion. That could be bad. Oh dear. I'm not actually bothered about catching uh, pseudo widow, so, um. So the. <laughs> What I do want to do though is try and catch it. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's try Ghastly. Gonna put it to sleep because we don't want to, we don't want it to hurt himself with confusion. Because even though I don't really need to catch it, because I don't want to catch it, because I have Geo, dude, I'm gonna try and catch it. If that makes sense. Oh God. That was really weak, Ghastly. That's better. Come on, get some more. Uh, Ghastly's a good choice if it keeps using Flail because, well, ghost Pokemon are immune to normal type moves. So it can't use Flail. <laughs> Paralysis is also a nice status, so if that happens... Oh, Rock Throw. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Ah, oh, dear. Right, well, I'm not going to have it kill me. So, um... I get uh, Bell Sprout in on the action. Ah, uh, that's going to kill me. Uh, oh, well. Okay, well, I don't really want to catch Pseudo Widow anyway. Pseudo Widow sucks. But there are more important Pokemon to catch later on, so, uh... Make sure you catch them. You don't need to catch Sudowoodo though. It's just it's just Sudowoodo. I'm not going to catch it. I don't care for Sudowoodo. I'd rather have the experience. And now that Sudowoodo has been killed, that clears the way, and we are able to go left and right. If we go right though, a place that looks rather familiar. It's Violet City, and I'm just going to take the time here to use the Pokemon Center. You might as well come in with me. Now, the next gym, well, the next city that we need to get to is Ecrutique City. And in Ecrutique City, it's a bit of a mysterious place. It's rather spooky. Uh, and that's because the gym leader is a ghost type leader. Uh, Ecrutique City is also the home of a tower, which, uh, well, a very hot tower, which has, uh, well, used to have a very uh, hot Pokemon there. There's a, there's a couple of legendary Pokemon in that tower, actually. So uh, we'll go see them eventually. Uh, just a couple of battles we need to face, mainly this one. And then we should be in Aquatique City. Uh, so yeah, I can't believe I lost that footage. Uh, literally, it, it was a nothing video really. All I did was walk out of the radio tower talks about the radio tower there's not much you can do there at this point in the game anyway I went north I faced a couple of Pokemon battlers and then I oh yeah uh, did I get TM rollout I might have shown TM rollout I'm not sure I can't remember my own videos <laughs> such a good LP -er I am uh, but main thing is what I wanted to actually show was the bug catching competition I caught myself a cypher Came second place, even though first place also caught a cipher. Uh, got to switch because he's going to use Dream Eater. Dream Eater is an absorb move. You'll absorb the life 
it absorbs the life, but it only works when you're asleep. We'll get cool lava in for the action. But yeah, the main thing is I wanted to show the bug catching competition, and I had to do it today because uh, it's what well, it's 22 midnight now on a Tuesday. It does it doesn't happen on Thursday. The bug catching competition only happens Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I didn't want to wait till Thursday to do another Pokemon bar. So, you know, I'm glad I got it done. I'm glad I got it done. Let's go north, and this is Ecritique. And if we go into the Pokemon Center, is that our rival? No. Bill! Woo! I actually knew who it was, so I said it before Bill came up. But yes, this is Bill. He created the uh, the box storage system. Well, he's got another new fabulous invention, invention, which is the time capsule. If you had Pokemon Red or Blue, you could trade your Pokemon from Red or Blue over to Gold and Silver, which is rather epic. Uh, there are a few rules, though. The Pokemon you trade over, I I think it, they, they're not allowed to know HMs. I'm not sure, though. There's a couple more. There's a couple more uh, rules. But as this is an emulator, again, I can't show you the time capsule. Well, I, I probably could, but it would be very glitchy. I'd have to use two emulators side by side, and, you know, I don't do glitchiness. But yes, this is Ecritique City, and if we go over here, there's the gym. Uh, and if we go to the right, we have the Dancing Theatre. And the Dancing Theatre will become very important to us later. I'm not quite sure what this building is. It looks like the uh, the uh, 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 Bellsprout Tower. Two towers. Stop copywriting. Oh, hello. You were very quick. Tin Tower is off limits to anyone without the Ecritique Gym Badge. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Oh, okay. Yes, there's two towers here. There's the uh, Tin Tower, which looks nothing like a tower. And there's this tower, which is the Burns Tower. Yes, bird t burn tower. Let's have a quick look inside the burn tower, shall we? Yes. Oh, hello. The rival. Oh, it's you. You wanted to get stronger, so you came for the legendary Pokemon that's supposed to be here. That's your story, right? Well, that's not going to happen because I'm going to get it. I'm going to be the world's greatest trainer, so a legendary Pokemon would be perfect for me. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm getting tired of having a wimp like you always showing up. So let's have a battle, shall we? Yes, Mr. Gold is after legendary Pokemon, and there's apparently one lives here. I could quite possibly lose this battle, so uh, that would be fun for all. Uh, Haunter actually has our weakness, but that's fine. Curse will cut the ghost Pokemon's uh, HP in half in order to put um, a status on us, which will leech life off us every turn. Problem is though, well, not the problem, but funny thing is though, if another Pokemon who isn't a ghost uses Curse, what that will what will happen is that Pokemon will get a boost in attack and defense, but will lose speed, which is interesting. An attack which has two outcomes depending on type. Well, I find it interesting anyway. But actually. Well, there goes the curse, and it's quite a lot of HP. I think it's 25%. Oh, that ain't good. But don't worry, we were able to get another Thunder Punch off. Then we can finish off with... Whoever. <laughs> yeah, there goes... Uh, Kadabra. Who have we got left? Uh, oh, it's going to have to be uh, Quilava, isn't it? Quilava and Geodude, my strongest two Pokemon. Weak to water. But don't worry, Quillav is quick enough to take down the big old Croconore, who we had so much trouble with last time. Quillav will get a level up. Which is awesome. Trying to learn Quick Attack. Yes! I need priority moves. By priority moves, I mean a move which always... Well, not always goes first, but goes first most of the time. Zubat, Zubat is weak to rock Pokemon because he flies. Flies like a bird. Except he's a bat. God, I'm doing well. 
Bite is a dark type move, but my rock hard defenses will be able to take it. Rock throw should be able to kill it in one. And Geodude does not disappoint. Last Pokemon. I'm getting excited now. You can tell in my voice. <laughs> Magnemite. Magnemite being a steel and electric type Pokemon now will go down easily to magnitude. Sonic Boom is a... Uh, a uh, I can't remember what it does. I want to say... Hmm, it did 20 HP. It's a normal type move. Can't quite remember what it does. Anyone who knows, tell me in the comments section. But that's all I can show you for this episode. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver, we'll be exploring Ecritique City. See you later, guys.